Well, 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 it looks like we have another Aliens game on the horizon. During yesterday's Summer Game Fest announcements, footage of Aliens Dark Descent was revealed. This is a game from Tenaldos Interactive and Focus Entertainment. Here's what the official overview has to say. In Aliens Dark Descent, command a squad of hardened colonial marines to stop a terrifying xenomorph outbreak on Moon Lethe. Lead your soldiers in real-time combat against iconic xenomorphs, rogue operatives from inside the insatiable Weyland yutani Corporation, and a host of horrifying creatures new to the Alien franchise. You are the commander. They are your weapon. Infiltrate large open levels and annihilate enemies with your squad, dispatching orders and strategically and intuitively at the touch of a button. Tread carefully as death is permanent and your foes will adapt their tactics to your actions while hunting you down. Forge unique paths for survival, uncovering shortcuts, creating safe zones, and setting up motion trackers in a persistent world where your actions impact levels forever. Customize your squad with a selection of different classes. Level up and specialize your soldiers with unique abilities and an arsenal of weapons, armor, and perks for high-stakes missions in treacherous territory. Develop your base to research new tech and improve your squad even further. Manage your resources wisely and take calculated risks to outsmart the deadliest creature mankind has ever faced. Can you and your squad stop the outbreak before it's too late? Face Off, in a gripping original alien story against iconic xenomorph creatures ranging from facehuggers to praetorians, alien queens, and many more. Including rogue human commandos, and a brand new threat unique to this alien storyline. Lead strategically and chain squad tactics from mission to mission, carefully managing your soldiers' health, resources, and sanity. To avoid permanent team losses and mental breakdowns. Assemble and level up squads composed of five starting marine classes with dozens of specializations, unique abilities, and weapons. The platforms include PS5, PS4, Xbox, and PC. Currently, it's already available to wishlist on Steam. It all sounds pretty interesting and intuitive, and could be a lot of fun. But here's where I have a personal complaint. As some of you may know, especially if you've seen my Aliens Fireteam Elite streams, I'm not much of a gamer. I'm definitely more on the casual side. And I absolutely love the Nintendo Switch. From the looks of it, this game would be absolutely perfect for the Switch, to be able to pick up and play, get some rounds in, but no, it's another game that's just not going to bother. And when and if they do bother, it's usually released several months later, like Doom Eternal, for example. But that's just me. That's what I'd personally like to see. I am interested in the game, though. This is definitely a case of similar but different. It's the kind of stuff we've seen before, which is pretty tried and true. Marines versus aliens. There's lots of guns and shooting and sore thumbs sure to come with it all. But the different angle this time around is literally just that. This is a top view shooter. It's isometric. It's more strategy based, which could be fun. That's normally not my thing, but I'm sure things haven't changed that much since uh, Red Alert 2, so I'm willing to give it a shot. And it looks like we have some story to look forward to as well. Different from what we got with Fireteam Elite, which of course had no cinematics. Neither of these have been what's referred to as AAA releases. They're smaller productions. They're usually less expensive on launch. Afterwards, you might be able to find a good deal, and that's okay with me. For now. We got only a few brief clips of the actual gameplay so far, and some screenshots, nothing too substantial, but enough that I think we can get a general idea of the game. Clearly this isn't going to be a huge tentpole game or anything, and I think whoever the powers that be may be are still kind of testing the waters in a post-Disney merger world. What strikes me about this game is what struck me about Fireteam Elite. It's small, but a dedicated and passionate team that knows and loves aliens and wants to bring something fun to the table. So I'll keep an eye on Dark Descent, which should be around in 2023, but until then there was actually another Aliens-related announcement from Summer Games Fest. Aliens Fireteam Elite has a brand new campaign coming out in August, Pathogen. With this comes an extension to the story presented in the game and some new enemies as well. The trailer premiered today and gave us a taste of what awaits in the Pathogen campaign, and this of course includes some nasty new xenomorph types to gun down. I've been pretty impressed with what the game has been offering over the past year now. Again, it's a smaller release, a smaller team, but they've been consistent with the offerings. New types of classes to play with, new modes, including the survival mode, which is pretty good, and plenty of new challenges. 
Oh, and apparently we're getting an even harder difficulty soon, so good luck with that. I think I'm alright playing normal difficulty for now. I'm not glued to the game every day or anything, but every time I do pick it up to play, there's always something new, and I appreciate that. So there will be plenty of alien gaming in our future. I have a feeling more may be ahead, but for now I think Dark Descent and some further Fireteam Elite campaigns should be enough to satisfy my acidic bloodlust. Have you been playing Fireteam Elite? Do you like the new additions since launch? Comment below and let me know, and let me know your thoughts on this new game, Dark Descent. In the meantime, I'd like to thank you very much for watching today. Be sure to keep up with the channel as more news becomes available, and be sure to subscribe for everything else Alien-related. And until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.